different uh, of course when, when when you have a family because all of a sudden your time is not your own and so you, you you find that you have to do things that you're not necessarily accustomed to like schedule and, and prioritize your time uh, or, or organize your time um, and, and of course you know gone are the, uh, are the days of being able to just kind of have a burst of creativity and run off and you know, lock yourself in a studio somewhere. It doesn't really work like that anymore, understandably. And nor should it, you know, that's, uh, that's the beauty of having uh, kids and a, and a, and a family. Um, you know, they, they come first, and so you, they, they tend to get first pickings, if you like, at the time of life. The most important thing for when, when you're making music or when you're writing music is, is to, to, to find whatever it is that is going to allow you to be open. Um, because I, I, it's my belief that when you're, when you're open, when you're at your most open, that's when the good stuff comes through. And I think that's probably where my, my, my family have been the biggest inspiration is that, is that um, you know, your family will do that to you, especially kids. You know, they'll, They'll open you up and, and stop you from being too serious. I've never been one to to explain uh, songs. Uh, I, I I've, I've always felt quite uncomfortable doing that because. I, well, first of all, you know, I think that that's probably the reason why I sing, uh, because it's 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 my way of, of of expressing. And I always songs whenever you know someone sits down and starts kind of explaining the literal meanings behind songs or the or the lyrics or, you know, I, I always think that. I, that always makes me feel a little uncomfortable because then it starts getting too serious and 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 I really try not to not to take it that seriously because it really is songwriting it's supposed to be fun you know and 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 ultimately it's just it's entertainment that's what it is you know and uh, it, it's an opinion for sure you know it's 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 my opinion and 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 my view on uh, on 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 life. One, one of the sources of inspiration, strangely enough, for this album was uh, a movie I saw uh, <clears throat> year before last, which, which I just, it was one of those movies which sort of came and went, but I thought it was a fantastic film. It was V for Vendetta. Fantastic movie, I loved it. With Natalie Portman, and I can't remember who else was in it. Um, the guy from the... Uh, uh, Matrix, Mr. Mr. Smith, or whatever his name is. It's great, really great movie. And uh, and I liked how he was kind of like, you know, he, he was this sort of catalyst that denounced the hypocrisies of of uh, you know of, of modern time, well, of yeah, of modern times. And and but basically, he was all about the message that I got from it was was empowering the people, putting the power back in the hands of the people. And now his was on more of a kind of political level, but not, not actually, not just on a political level. It was more of a kind of, um, you know, it was more about him saying that, look, you know, you don't have to be force-fed on any level. You don't really have to be force-fed on a political level, on a, on a domestic level, on an emotional level, on a self-realization level. You, you, you just, you know, you are in control of uh, of whatever path it is that of, that you want to take. You are, or you are more in control than you think. Heidi sings all the time around the house. We sing with the kids. We sing to the kids. Uh, she's always singing to stuff on the radio at home or 
and, and we, we kind of play games and sort of bastardize myself <laughs> during the writing process. It's like, you know, we can, we can be quite silly like that. And so, but she always sings it really well, you know, she, 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 or she, whatever it is she's singing, she sings really well. And, and I've always liked the contrast of kind of her angelic sounding voice, you know, with my kind of raspy, raspy old voice. And so, um, come the time to record it, I said, look, you know, I got this, this idea, I want you to sit, I want to do this as a duet. And so I wrote, I rewrote it and a part for her, you know, d d d I rewrote it in, in the form of a duet. and. We went in the studio together and, and, and recorded it. And she was great, you know, she was really, she was a consummate professional. Um, she just didn't stop until, until we got it. Amazing.